Hey there, I'm Eliza with Ancestral Evolution, and today I'm going to teach you how to hand pollinate squash flowers. Thank you to all those who have stuck with us. We know it's been a while since we posted a video. We had to take a break from making videos for a little while, but we're back and we plan to be making videos on a more regular basis. So stay tuned for that. One thing that can happen if you don't have a lot of pollinators in your area, or you don't have as many as you would like to have, is that some of your squashes may not get pollinated. If you have a lot of little squashes on your plants or squashes that seem like they form and then they kind of shrivel up a little bit, that's a sign that your squashes are not getting pollinated as well as they need to be. Let me show you an example of the difference between a pollinated squash and an unpollinated squash. So this is an example of a squash that didn't get pollinated and it is, as you can see, it's really small and it, over time it kind of gets these shriveled looking spots. So you, if you have a lot of squashes that kind of look about that size and they seem like they're not getting bigger, that's a sign that your squashes are not getting pollinated. Now on the other hand, you can see over here that this squash is significantly larger. That is one that did get pollinated. So if you've got squashes that are getting bigger and that are you can see that they're growing, that's a good sign that you do have good pollination. You can tell a ma male from a female flower two ways. One is if you look at the stalk where the flower is coming out, the male just has a plain stem. The female flower will have a embryonic fruit that looks like a little baby squash on the base of it. So you can, you can look at the base of the flower and tell which is male and female. Also, you can look at the inside of the flower. The male flowers have pollen-filled anthers in there. The female flowers have a multi-lobed stigma. And you can, look, you can see the difference between the male and the female flowers by looking at the inside of the flower as well. Now, the best time to do your pollination is first thing in the morning. So when you first get up, go out to wherever you have your, your squash plants, and check out what flowers you have open. So if you wanna hand pollinate your squash, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna put it into a male flower, like right here. You're gonna get some pollen on the tip of your paintbrush and you're just gonna stick it in the center of a female flower. Right there. Making sure that you get the pollen kind of on the central stigma of the female flower. So that's all there is to it. Those squashes are now pollinated and they should grow to be nice and big. So now you'll have some nice squashes to eat. All right, I think that's all for now. If you like our stuff, be sure to like and subscribe. Also check out our classes on Skillshare. We'll see you next time.